Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back app and in today's video we're going to create a new user in a React Native application using Parse. So here I have my application called React Native Expo and here I have my user class that Parse creates for convenience for me. And here I have my Visual Studio Code and my function app where I'm going to create a new async function to create that user. So async function create user. And inside this function, I'm going to create a new object called user. So const user equals new parse dot user. And I'm going to set the three properties a user has. Two are mandatory and one is optional. So the mandatory ones are username and password. So user dot set username Alex K. User dot set password ABC one two three. And the optional one is the email. So user dot set email Alex at backforapp.com. So what if I need new properties? I can just start adding properties as I want and parse is smart enough to understand those properties and save them to me. So for instance, user.set telephone and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now inside a try catch block, we're going to log to create this user. And here's the catch part. So I heard. The method that does do so is the sign up. So await because this is a asynchronous call user dot sign up. If this succeeds, then I'm going to show an alert and user created. If it doesn't succeed, I'm going to alert and error. My error variable from the catch block. And to make the message more readable to my end users, I'm going to use the dot message property. Now I'm going to call this method. So create user and save. I'm using yarn again. So yarn iOS, hit enter. This will bring up my browser, start Metro Bundler, which will start my simulator. It will detect there is a new update, so it will download it and start running. There you go, user created. And to double check that, I can go to this parse dashboard again, refresh. And here is my user. So username Alex K, password is hidden for obvious reasons, my email and my telephone. Oh, the, here, is, here is my telephone. It also created a session for this user because it's logged on. So if I want to log out this user, I can just remove this session and the user will be logged off. So I hope you liked this video. I hope to see you on the next ones. See you soon. Bye bye.